Okay, so a uh, little progress update. We've got almost all the extra sheet metal off the floor. Uh, we've just got a little bit left to do around here and get this off. And then this is ready to come off. This whole panel is as soon as uh, um, as soon as uh, we get this piece off. That's all it's holding this whole bit on. So um, anyway, so quick progress update. Um, yeah, we got all of this off. All the spot welds around here off. Rust isn't too bad, um, at least along these sections. This section here, uh, we'll have to do something about it. This uh, we need this section that comes across here, so we'll grind all the rust off of it and uh, put a patch on it. So that'll be good. Um, and then all the way around here, we got everything off. So. So yeah, uh, we just this pulls out of here. It's already loose. If you can see, I don't know. Yeah, it's already loose. So um, yeah, all we gotta do is get that off. But the, uh, the big issue with it is um, right along here. We think, uh, as I told you in the other video, this is an Evil 4 RS floor pan. The uh, they only came in the the car that had the um, rear diff that was um, mechanical. It didn't have the AYC system. And as such, a lot of the people who bought the RS uh, bought it for a race car. And I think this one was no different um, because if you look through here, there's a lot of tearing uh, in the chassis. Like here, there, and that's not just uh, rusted out. It's actually torn. Um, a little here, this is just rust, I think. But I think the worst is on the other side here. Um, as you can see, we got it down to it. These are not factory welds through here. Um, this whole section seems like it actually tore out. Um, and it's the same with up through here. This wasn't patched. Um, this is one of the worst tears. That tear is almost all the way through every layer. Um, and it's just... This whole area is really, really bad. So uh, the plan is to get the floor media blasted uh, here in a couple, uh, well, days, weeks, however long it takes me to get this finished. But considering it's only taken me two days to get this far, I think it should be done tomorrow or uh, Monday or Tuesday. So we'll see. But I don't know. I'm really not sure if we'll be able to use this frame rail. So I know I can get this piece new from Mitsubishi still. Uh, for an Evo 8, and then I have to use this cup because of the orient had the depth of this for the non-wide car. Um, but if I have to do that, it's not you know a total loss. We can still we can make that work. But I'm hoping I can just weld weld this and patch it. So we'll see. But anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's my progress update. See, it's kind of messy. It's all right. <laughs> so, the uh, <clears throat> the spare tire well is uh, crushed pretty bad. <laughs> There's a a seam that runs all the way along here where the metal is all bent. So, the I think yeah, like I said, I think this was a race car at some point. It seemed like people were doing you know just quick patch jobs on on broken parts and. Uh, it, in general, it seems like whatever car this came off of was pretty heavily beat on, so. Anyway. So, yeah, that's the uh, that's the update for now. So, I'll keep you guys posted on the progress updates. Got all my nice parts down here. <laughs> so. All right.